all righty ladies and gentlemen we're back smackdown versus raw 2006 season mode now first off <laughs> i do want to apologize for the extremely long gap between this and the last episode i didn't really want that to happen it just sort of happened and for curiosity's sake before i started recording i checked the date the last episode went up and i feel really bad because it was like back in october dude <laughs> so i'm really sorry like i shouldn't be laughing but it just sort of happened okay and the second thing to go over um when i booted back up my mem card to continue this i realized i made a big mistake last time which uh i don't remember the comments so because it was so long ago i don't know if anyone actually pointed this out but uh, during the last episode like i kept saying like oh i'll just save at the end just because i don't want to waste uh screen time you know people watching me save well um at that time i forgot about the the save system in this game is actually different than the previous entry um, so I'll explain here. So if you go to save in your locker room, you see there is a game data save as well as a profile save. Now, any, so it explains it right here. So profile save saves all records, your cash, your locker room customization, challenge mode, create championship, all that stuff. Game data save saves all season mode, GM data, create a superstar and create a pay-per-view and stable. Now, last time I just did a game data save, meaning my entire profile was not saved. All of that was gone. So... Before recording this, I actually had to basically redo everything I did. I made sure to match exactly what I did. I won the matches I won. And uh, throughout our playthrough so far, I've only lost one match. So I made sure to intentionally lose that match. Just so we have... It's basically the exact same with the exception of my locker room. Looks slightly different, I think. I'd have to compare. But I made some changes uh, to my locker room. So yeah, um, it's kind of funny because this was new for the game at the time. And I remember as a kid, actually, I think I made the same mistake too as a kid. Uh, <laughs> that's why it kind of pays to turn on auto save but in terms of recording i feel like the save kind of breaks up the flow of the video that's why i don't really do it so i gotta make sure to keep that mindset and um i just want to show off our trophies uh it's funny the one match we actually lost cost us this trophy right here because we lost the barroom brawl um uh, so i guess we'll have to go back and do that i'll make sure to do that on video to Skype so i can show me getting the trophy uh, but yeah, that sucks that we lost that match. We, I think the reason why we lost, if I remember, is I was screwing around too much trying to show off every possible thing in the barroom brawl. And when you're playing a legend difficulty like I am, uh, screwing around will cost you the match if you do it too much. Uh, but with that being said, last time we were on the Legends Tour, uh, it was pretty successful. I won the Battle Royal, which got me that one trophy, which is cool, which also unlocked us the Legend Loading Screen, which we have turned on. So without further ado, the Season Mode is back. Here we go. And speaking of legend loading screens, JYD, our first legend to appear in the loading screen. Got my vitamin water, I'm ready to go. Welcome back to SmackDown! I followed your performance on the tour, and I've got to tell you, the coach was very impressed. Why am I standing so weird? You're not the only one. You looked great against all those legends. It was so exciting to watch you in action. Thanks. You know, Coach, I was a little skeptical when you first asked me to go, but I've got to admit, it was the perfect opportunity to test my skills against some of the all-time great WWE superstars and prove myself to SmackDown fans around the world. Big hey, pop. You don't have to thank me, but if you must, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I wasn't thanking you. So anyway, before I left, you promised me a title match. I know we've got a pay-per-view coming up in a few weeks. And I was thinking... Oh, right. Your, your WWE title Oh, match. no. Uh, listen. I, I've run it past a few VIPs, and it turns out that the coach may have promised just a <laughs> tiny bit more than he could deliver. <laughs> what am I doing right now? Look at Kurt! Why am I standing like that? Don't worry. It's only a matter of time before the coach is named GM of SmackDown. And when that happens... Dude, I'm about to snap. Listen to me very carefully, Coach. You're never going to be general manager of SmackDown. Understand? If you are offered the job, you're going to turn it down. Why? Why would I do that? Because as far as I'm concerned, you screwed me out of a WWE title opportunity. Oh, it's true. And if you become the GM of this brand, <laughs> I will spend every Thursday from now on making your life a living hell. Get it? Got it. Good. Damn.
Come on, Tori. I want to get back to figuring out who ran down Teddy Long. This little meeting just reminds me that I've got some unfinished business back on SmackDown. Pretty intense scene. Just the, I kind of want to get a shot of Kurt leaning like that for the thumbnail, potentially. That was hilarious. All right. We did absolutely nothing that week, but it was a great cutscene, I must say. Good to be back. Uh, we're going to see how rusty I am when... Um, Start playing again. Okay, so you can check your current Royal Rumble entry number on the bulletin board at the desk in your locker room. The, uh, the number will update after each match. So, uh, we'll check that out here. It's actually a unique feature to the locker room for this specific story mode. Uh, so, we're going to be entering the Rumble. And, uh, funny enough, the Rumble recently happened in real life. So, I guess I'll talk about that as we start playing. Uh, my thoughts on it, might as well. Uh, so, the bulletin board, you can see that little envelope right there. Here is your current Royal Rumble entry number, 15. Um, and I must say, unfortunately, if you thought the Royal Rumble in SmackDown vs. Raw, the original, was, um, bad, uh, unfortunately, in my opinion, it's way worse in this game. <laughs> like, I'm- this episode's probably gonna be extremely long. The Rumble is garbage in this game. If you don't know why, I'll talk about it when we actually play the Rumble. Uh, it's really bad. But there- there is- I don't want to spoil anything, because there is something unique about this game's Rumble, um... Time to rumble storyline here. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Yes, I see what you mean, Coach. I must admit his behavior has been a bit strange lately. Thank you for coming here tonight to bring that to my attention. Yeah, the way I was standing was quite strange, I must say. You wanted to see me, Vince? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for coming to see me. I wanted to take this chance to compliment you on your hard work so far this year and let you know that it has not gone unnoticed. Okay. The matches you've competed in over the last few months have helped to determine your entry number into one of the greatest matches in sports entertainment, the Royal Rumble. As you know, the Rumble takes place in two weeks. And tonight's match is your last chance to improve your entry number. And it must be your lucky day. <laughs> Because Mr. McMahon, in his infinite wisdom, has come up with a typically brilliant plan to give you a choice of matches. You see, if you're fairly happy with your current number, you can compete in an Iron Man match tonight. When it's over, your opponent's number of pinfalls or submissions will be subtracted from yours. The resulting number will be added to your current entry number. So, if you score three points and your opponent scores one, your entry number improves by two. But if it's the other way around, your number falls by two. Or if you prefer to take a big risk for a big reward, you can compete tonight in a triple threat match against the number one and number 30 entrants. Win that match, and you'll get to enter the Royal Rumble last at number 30, which gives you a huge advantage. If you lose the triple threat, however, you'll enter at number one and have to face 29 other superstars in order to win. I love it. That's sheer genius, Mr. McMahon. Take it under advisement for a minute. Let me know which match you want to compete in tonight. Keep in mind that the higher your entry number, the later you enter the Royal Rumble, and the better your chances. Okay, so, now I must say, whenever I played this as a kid, I always chose the same option. Uh, so let me, let, me, let me break this down, right? So they did a really good job at explaining them. Uh, the Iron Man match is the safe option. As we, we already saw here, I was at entry 15, which if you didn't check in the locker room and you just went in here, I guess you'd have no idea. So that's kind of an oversight now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so you got to keep in mind here, we're playing on Legend difficulty. So how many falls do you think I could really score on Legend? And I don't even know who I'm going to face. Uh, maybe you could cheese it with submissions with Kurt, potentially. But I mean, again, on Legend, it's really almost impossible to out-button mash the computer. Now, whenever I play this as a kid, I always chose the big risk, big reward. <laughs> Putting it all on the line. Um, I, I'm, honestly, I haven't even decided what I'm going to do here, so I'm trying to explain my rationale as I'm thinking here. But uh, I thought about the Iron Man match because here's the thing, right? And I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. You can skip ahead if you don't care. Uh, but um, this game's Royal Rumble is garbage. It takes forever. So if I get number 30, which would give me the best advantage, I'm going to have to sit through a long Rumble simulation and it will be terrible. Or I could come in a little bit earlier and speed it up at the risk of potentially getting destroyed and eliminated. But with that being said, I'm going to risk it all, triple threat. I have to. Because 
<laughs> the Iron Man match. I don't. I don't want to sit through that. Okay, so here's the thing about this, right? They say it's a big risk, but in my opinion, it really isn't. Because think about it. The number one entrant in this case here is Spike Dudley. Well, I guess I don't know if it randomly generates your opponents. I can't remember. Or if the number one guy is always a lower overall guy. But if I just isolate Spike Dudley, I should have no problem in this. Like, I'm fairly confident we'll be fine. Uh, but again here. Oh, big Bret Hart loading screen, by the way. Uh, here's the thing, right? Um, if I get number 30, I don't have to sit through a long rumble. The thing about this game's rumble is uh <laughs> comes the man who's currently scheduled to enter the Royal Rumble first. He's got a great opportunity to jump all the way to number 30 if he can win this triple threat match. He can definitely use an upset win here tonight. Otherwise, he's got to pray for a miracle at the rumble. <laughs> uh, but again, like I was saying, if I get number 30, I'm going to sit through the long rumble and sometimes they take a very long time. Um which, um, if you, again, if you don't remember or don't know, I'll, I'll talk about when you actually play the Rumble. I'll explain, like, what the computer's doing. And, like, oh, one thing is, like, um, they made the ring out bar way bigger. And, again, just like SVR, the original, it's really hard to out-button mash the Legend computer. But there is a trick to get around it, um, on Legend. Um, if you're double eliminating somebody, the computer picks up the slack, kind of like the first SVR. They kind of make up that difference and help you out, so... And of course, there's like just throwing my neighbor and punching him too. Mr. McMahon angry enough to put him in a match like this. His number 30 entry spot is at stake. I have no idea, Cole, but you know, you know as well as me, it won't be the first time he found himself in Mr. McMahon's doghouse. That's for sure. He's in the doghouse, brother. Now, I gotta say, it's good to be back on this, man. I really hate how much of a gap. Um, there was between this and the last episode. And you know, it's kind of funny. Like, I think about, like, maybe, like, someone's watching this, like, way in the future. Like, there wasn't a gap for those people. They just, like, maybe, like, some people tell me they watch these all in, like, a marathon. Uh, which is kind of crazy to me that people would want to listen to me for that long. But, you know, I, I gotta say, though, on this series, I, I appreciate the comments uh, and all the support and everything. So, thank you. Is taking a huge gamble. That's right. Risking it all. His entry number entirely. And it's guaranteed to leave here tonight as either the number one or number 30 entrant in the Royal Rumble. Oh, it's true. Hey, he might have more guts than brains. But you never can tell. Superstars have entered at number one and won the whole thing. And others have come in at number 30 and been tossed over the top rope. Now, there is sort of a, um, another strategy I really, really want to talk about for this game specifically, but I can't because it will spoil this game's season. Now, I know this game's super old, and I know, like, I, I assume a lot of people that watch my playthroughs and coverage are people that love these games like me, so they already know. But, on the off chance that, like, some people told me they never played it and they watched it through me, so just for that small amount of people, I don't really like to spoil stuff, so I can't talk about the strategy until we actually see why that's a strategy. Is that any sense, right? Until, like, the game reveals why that can be a strategy. I can't talk about it. I'm sorry. Uh, but here we go. Big risk. This is a pivotal match here. Also, keep in mind, what? I swear I didn't run left. That was weird. Um, another thing to talk about here is, um, even though I said like this match would be no problem for me, um, I haven't played the game in a long time, so there's probably some rust. So maybe it is gonna be hard. Oh God. My ribs. Was it just me or when he stepped in my chest did it sound like the turnbuckle or was that spike doing something off screen? Okay. Okay, like I said, I really want to be targeting spike here. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than Okay, what what is happening right now? Joe, come on, double team. No, he doesn't want it. There we go. All right, we got to try to remember the Kurt Angle move set. Such a selfish... he likes dirty. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I remember this input, the low blow. That gives me some good momentum here. I already got a finisher, man. You know what? This, this is a big match. I'll do whatever it takes, brother. Alright, this match is... Oh, God. <laughs> no, pump idol. Got them camera angles. Oh, I'm already yellow? I feel like I'm taking, like, two moves. Come on, Taz. Oh, okay. Auto targeting is not cooperating here. Wow. Now that one's not cool. okay, he's also already yelled. What's going on? It's not a crime if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. Big German. 
Okay, angle sucks. I just, come on, I just came back and already getting angle sucks chance. Okay, here's the thing about triple threats. While they're doing submission here, I could steal one of their taunts, thus draining their momentum. But again, I think I talked about this in a previous part, though. I'm not really a big fan of the steal taunt feature. I think it isn't exactly that useful, in my opinion. Big DDT. Yeah, I'm getting momentum like crazy here. <laughs> what are you doing? This yeah, it sounds like the corner, right? Okay. Oh, this finish is gonna be gone. That could be quite a, I think angle slam! The angle slam. Am I gonna get a second one off here? Angle slam! Am I gonna steal one this early? Cover? Okay, well. That would have been a great finish, but I uh, got rope break and Big Show like instantly recovered from uh, <laughs> my uh, throwing in the corner. Okay, we've already done enough damage on Spike, so you know what I should I should have done a strong Irish whip on Big Show. I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyways because uh, okay, Spike keeps running away, which I swear the the heels in this game always do that. These superstars are on fire tonight. They sure are, and I don't think they're going to be put out anytime soon. Okay, this is just a cluster, dude. Bike's out of here again. All right, slowing it down, brother. What a that I, I just want to finish her, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try that hard Irish whip strat. Cause I really want to end this match early, cause I know the rumble is gonna take so much time. I already know. Boy, I'll tell you, this is not Unless I really, I could lose on purpose and get number one, take the ultimate challenge. But like I said, this game's rumble is not fun in my opinion. So. You never quite know exactly what you're going to see. Oh. Wait, what happens now? How, how is there a triple? How is there a D? I won! <laughs> what? What? I, what? Excuse me, why is there a DQ or a triple threat? There was no count out, so I assumed the DQ was off anyways. I thought they would have thought about that, turning off DQ in this specific story match. Okay, I guess that was really anticlimactic. After all these months of waiting to come back to the series of the season mode coverage of SVR 06, that's our first match. All right, whatever. I'll, I mean, I'll take it, I guess, but like, I was looking for another angle slam, my man. All right, Battle Royale six man over the top. A little bit of rumble practice, I'd say. Um, Really no pressure here, but... um. I guess if it's over the top rope, I guess we could uh, talk about the the rumble mechanics during this, potentially. Well, yeah, we'll skip. We'll skip a few. We'll watch some of the other guys, but we'll skip a few of these. Let's get mine. Still getting booed, guys. I, I get no respect this season mode. Can you dig it, dig it, sucker, sucker. Also, um, another thing I wanted to talk about is. Again, I don't remember if anyone pointed this out in the comments. They may have. I don't really remember. But um, by playing as Kurt Angle, I actually miss... I'm going to miss out on a specific storyline in this game. Uh, because I, I think traditionally the Legends Tour is mostly for the Raw guys. But if you pick Kurt, actually, you, you don't get... Or you get in the Legends Tour instead of a different storyline. Uh, pretty famous storyline in this game. Um, but again, remember the way I cover these games? Uh, we will be playing every storyline regardless. So if we don't get them in the two main playthroughs of the Raw and SmackDown, then we will actually play them as somebody. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, potentially my favorite storyline in the game is the one we actually missed out on, which kind of sucks, but we'll get to it. I, I guess I can say what the storyline is because it doesn't really spoil anything. It's the one that involves The Undertaker. So I'm sure everyone remembers that one if you played this game. Keep a staff, brother. I love this theme, by the way. It's so good. Uh, another thing I should talk about... Actually, I do want some feedback on this. So hopefully this video goes up before I get to the recording of the Raw side. I'm, I already know who I'm going to play as on the Raw side. I'm not going to spoil it. But I believe that person um, will also have the Legends Tour storyline. And uh, when I looked at the length of the Legends Tour video, it was like two hours. So I don't really think I want to play through it again on video uh i do want to do the bar brawl on video just to show to get that trophy 
Uh, so, I don't know, would people be alright with me not, with me skipping it, or should I just play it again or what? I'm like, I would definitely like feedback on that. Um, because I know in my other previous season modes, if I had repeating storylines in the main playthrough, I did play them again. But the difference here is, those didn't last two hours, right? They were much quicker in those games, so... Yeah, I don't know. Like, my initial reaction is to just skip it besides the bar brawl. Show that. <laughs> Show that. I'm sorry, but, um... I don't know. I'd definitely like to hear your opinion as well. Arguably the coolest man on the roster. I wonder how much that old man got paid to get spit in the face by Carlito. Dude, I love his Tron so much. I'm always a fan of um, wrestling segments that take place, like, not in the arena. They're hilarious. Oh, God. I don't know if that's coming through on the mic, but, like, <laughs> I have, like, a humidifier in this room, and it's, like, beeping. Okay. That scared me a little bit. Actually, that was pretty loud. But, yeah, I love segments outside the arena, like, you know, like, Booker T and Austin in the grocery store. Stuff like It's just hilarious, dude. Because it's, like, you get to see these characters interacting with other people that's what makes it funny you know i think I, I think like a good point of comedy is you have interesting characters and you want to see how they react to situations in their place and i think that's really a key element it's mark gingerack damn look at him from atlanta georgia weighing 263 pounds mark gingerack this man can jump very high. He's got a great drop kick. But well, he's got a generic theme here. This theme is like so unmemorable to me. <laughs> of course, appearing in the last game as well. The reflection of perfection. Like the gold attire though. It's very nice. Yeah, I gotta say, like, the widescreen mod in this game is really good. Like, seeing those zoom outs, it's great, man. In my opinion, though, this game's uh, emulation still isn't perfect. It's really good, but you can see, like, the ghosting effects every now and again. Like, you can kind of see it there. Um, so it's definitely not perfect, but it still looks pretty damn good. Alright, so it's kind of funny. Like, this is just kind of like a throwaway match because, like... Like, we had no cutscene, no dialogue. They just throw it in there. I assume it's to get you um, rumble ready, you know, like a little bit of practice and stuff like that, which makes sense, but they could have, you know, justified that with a uh, cutscene. Oh, no, here we go. Never mind. I was wrong. Warm ups. I'm warming up, bro. Here we go. Right, slowing down the action. Alright, so, another thing I don't like about this game's rumble, actually, also happened in the SBR rumble, is the weight class system, where, like, the bigger guys can instantly throw people out. We shouldn't have a problem, because we're playing as Kurt, who's a heavyweight, so, I think we're fine. But, yeah, that's some cheese. Okay, if I can get over there and help, uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I just want to demonstrate here, me button mashing against computer on Legend, how hard it is. Okay, never mind. Pick up the slack. You can see when they pick up the slack, um, it helps out a lot in this game, so. And then once they pick up the slack, I can pretty much finish them off with one go of the pushing minigame, or I can just put them on the apron and keep striking them. But honestly, um... Oh god, I'm done here. It's over. It's over! It's over! It's over! It's over! It's over! Okay, well, I was just about to say, um, if they get me on the apron, I'm guaranteed done, which was clearly demonstrated there. But there is a way out, just like SVR. If I would have saved up a finisher, uh, you can use that to escape, which is very, very useful. Uh, and now we have to watch this garbage. I wish, <laughs> I really wish I didn't get eliminated, but it happens. Uh, I guess that's two matches lost now in the place that sucks, but oh well. Um, but you see what I should have been my, my mistake there was not having that safety net of the finisher I should have been using dirty moves to get that finisher as a safety net That's what I really should have done, but I took a risk and it did not pay off
And okay, so now that I'm not playing this, let's talk about why I don't like this game's rumble. So first off, um, of course the first complaint, which if you watch the last playthrough is when you play on Legend, the computer button mashes at inhuman rates. It's really unfair. Um, you know, of course, like some people tell me, oh, it's really easy, man. I have no problem butt mashing. Well, yeah, it's because when you play in the lower difficulties, trust me, I've tested this with turbo controllers and lower difficulties. The lower difficulties, you can easily out butt mash computer and it's a joke. Uh, but Legend is really ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so that's the first complaint, which like I already discussed ways around that. So I guess it's not too bad. But here's another problem. In this game, when the computer goes to Irish Whip, they grapple first before doing the whip, which is so annoying because you don't actually have to do that. You can Irish whip normally without initiating a grapple. And the problem with that is whenever they do that, they usually slightly push themselves away from the ropes. And then when they go for their Irish whip, um, it doesn't like knock them over the apron and then it just wastes so much time. We're going to be seeing that a lot during the actual rumble and it's super annoying. Um, I really don't know how they they should have improved the AI to do more horror Irish whips. I think they do them occasionally, but like usually they go for the neutral or clean dirty grapple, which is just pressing circle and then the Irish whip. You don't have to do that. You just press triangle and circle. You can Irish whip whenever you want. Uh, it's honestly horrible, man. Here, see, Jindrax demonstrating it. Right there, it was fine though, because he was close enough to the ropes. But man, rough. Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This isn't anything like what I expected from these competitors. So, yeah, I gotta admit, uh, okay, I was gonna say something, but it's kind of spoiler, so I'm not gonna say it. But uh, oh wow, I'm surprised Ginger X survived that. That makes these superstars so exciting to watch. I guess it's gonna be funny though, because we're getting number 30, which gives us a huge advantage. But it could still go wrong, as we saw here. If I get too aggressive, I really what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um. I'm going to go Man, I'm gonna spam dirty moves or not spam but I'm just gonna do dirty moves here. primarily get that finisher bank it as my safety net absolutely imperative uh of course there's strategies like playing like edge ultimate opportunist just hiding in the corner <laughs> that's a valid strat uh you could be the aggressor and go at him or if I get lucky and there's some cruiserweights in the ring I can get some free eliminations so, I mean we'll just see what happens I really hope this match wraps up soon. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to. So we're at, the we're at two well, losses it's for the playthrough now. Um, I, I usually don't keep track. Well, I know there was, uh, and here comes the painted stat track. So. Uh, yes, it's an oh, and we saw there. That's actually a glitch in this game, which is really annoying too. Um, when you're pushing him out and you punch him over, sometimes you get pushed back. It's super annoying because it, it kind of puts you... Well, actually, it kind of benefits you now that I'm thinking about it because it pushes you away from the ropes. Oh, here we go, OJ with the animations. All right. My man's out of stamina, though. And speaking of stamina, I hope we can see the uh, double KO minigame during season at some point because uh, that's really fun. I'll try to do that at some point if I can. I think it lets you do it in season mode. I mean, I guess we'll see. Man, I gotta say, uh, as fun as it is to be back and I'm enjoying this, uh, our first two matches were a little disappointing. Um, I was, I had a good performance as Kurt in the first match, but it had a horrible ending. This match was a terrible performance. <laughs> Sorry, I got my vitamin water, which is almost gone already because I've been chugging it. If you watch my videos or streams, you know I'm a big fan of vitamin water, all right? It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. All right, Carlito just walking in the ropes, doing nothing here, slowing it down. Not what I like to see. I'm really curious how long the rumble is going to be. It's going to be pretty funny, man. Okay, OJ, all right. It's crazy to think we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. And it kind of makes you wonder, right? Like, were they ever aware of like these issues and like, like when they were play testing or like just nobody cared? I thought it was fine because like, look here, look here. He didn't go over the ropes because he wasn't close enough. Hard Irish whip would have got him over. Or if you know they punch and drag and then Irish whip. Yeah, this one should go over any counter. <laughs> and then that's another thing, right? Uh, not only like the success rate is a problem, but also 
it gives them another opportunity to reverse because there's the first grapple and then the move so they can reverse easier in my opinion um i mean i know you can like here it, that's, that's what i'm saying right is like you can still reverse that irish whip right but if you do a grapple then irish whip you have two chances to reverse instead of one that's another problem here so we just saw right there demonstrated by carlito it's horrible dude Oh, never mind. All right, they're giving a lot of screen time to these boys. Number 30 entering gets tossed. There we go. Finally, hard Irish whip. I wish they would do that more. Andy reverse. <laughs> no. Okay, please do a hard Irish whip, my man. And he didn't see, like, that's that's an AI issue. They should be able to recognize they're too far away from the ropes and do a hard Irish whip. How did you Booker T even though he was eliminated like five minutes ago? All right, here we go. Get him out of here. And also another strat um, I didn't talk about is um, if your opponent's red and you uh, Irish trip them over, they just flip over, just like the SVR. So that's another strat as well. I don't necessarily necessarily think that'd be too viable on Legend, but it's I guess it's useful when you're down in the final too. It's a little bit safer to stay away from the ropes and stay in the attack. Okay, well, we might actually see that the way this match is going. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, OJ's stamina management's been terrible in this, man. Carlito's been fine, but OJ's been awful. I mean, I'm kind of hoping he gets him red at this point. They got as much left as it takes, Cole. Trust me. You get in that ring Ooh. and you find out. Oh. <laughs> I miss that noise, man. I can imagine. Nothing pushes you to the limit quite like a WWE match. I mean, like, you know, I always wonder, like, what's the point of that noise? Obviously, like, from a functionality standpoint, it's to indicate the player ran out of stamina. But, like, in the game's world, <laughs> like, is, is your character making that noise? Is, like, are, are we actually robots or what? Like... <laughs> Like, what do they even use in real life to record that? It's just like, oh. <laughs> nice, Paul Burchill. Speaking of Paul Burchill, boys, whenever we get to SVR 07, Paul Burchill in the game. Unfortunately, if I remember correctly, you can't actually play as him in season mode, which is really disappointing because that's who I would have played as, but I don't think you, it actually lets you. I think you could hack the game to play as him, but he has no voiceover, so it's not worth it. Man, I don't envy that ref. Please, that someone just get red or go over the top rope. Say that again. I mean, OJ's got a finisher. If he saves it, he could save himself from getting eliminated, which would extend this even more, but... A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Please. Now we're going to Ginger X sucks. Is everyone, was everyone in this match a heal? It's been 10 minutes, so I don't even remember everyone in the match, to be honest with you. You've got to be cool to see cool. You hear that? Damn, look and at Taz with the insight. I don't the fans All right, good. Too much. Just Here throw him over. Look out. Oh, man. Many a superstar has fallen prey to that Ooh, finishing okay. maneuver. Next Irish whip wins pretty much, except for... Here's another thing, right? When you regain stamina, it actually flips you back over to orange, so... A little bit of protection, but as soon as you get hit again, you flip back to red. You could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off the super. Check it out, Cole. This is gonna be cool. A modified swinging neckbreaker. Oh God! An incredible move. Please, someone. Well, the name of the Let's game just hope during my rumble, guys, uh, the final two don't go over at the same time, and Vince comes out and tears his quad. <laughs> That's still one of the funniest moments ever, like Vince tearing both his quads, like just a series of events that led up to that. It, it's ridiculous when you think about it. Please, somebody. Exactly End the pain. Please. Yes! Come on. Never know what to expect from these superstars. And of course he reversed. Well, it wouldn't break the worst part about this is not me attack. losing, but me not being in the final two to uh, shorten the match. Like, I don't really care that I lost because, like, uh, this match doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, if it's any indication by my Rumble performance, then I should be worried, but... 
It's not a big deal that I lost, but just the fact that we got to sit here this long is what makes it worse. Slowing it down with the side hand mod, brother. I guess whoever wins this has the superior hair. You think about that. See, that's another thing too. In that situation, he could have uh, Irish whipped him, but it seems like they only Irish whip. Well, I shouldn't say only, but it seems like most of the time they only Irish whip from a clean or dirty grapple. It's like, come on now. For the 14th time. There's a reason that's called a finishing move. The match usually doesn't go much longer. Guys, I'm out of vitamin water at this point. You know, the key to winning a match like this is to build some momentum. And you're not going to see a match won with just one or two moves. No, Do it. Here we go. One or two big moves that are yes. Oh, points. he's only orange. How I don't even know how low everyone's ring out meter is. And the fact that he didn't even Irish whip there. He did a low blow instead. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. By the way, if we looked at the season card, this was the main event of SmackDown. Oh boy. This is getting personal. Well, you know, it's gonna be funny when these two actually come out in the real rumble. Like, how are they gonna perform? Come on. Of course. Alright. I don't I don't even care who wins. Yes! And he gets the rib animation. It's over. Alright, well. That was painful, but if you thought that was bad, get ready for the rumble boys. You get to watch that again times 30. We may have just seen a glimpse of what's to come at the Royal Rumble this Sunday. Yeah, things are looking great for him now, but if there's one thing you can expect from the Rumble, it's that you never know what to expect from the Rumble. All right, Orlando Jordan getting a big push here. All right. I lost. It's true. It's damn true. But here we go. It's time for the Rumble, which, uh... I'm not looking forward to this. Number 30 is great and all, but uh, <laughs> it's going to take forever for me to come out, dude. Like, I might as well start, like, cooking a six-course meal at this point. Damn, look at RVD, boys. I like this universe. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, earlier tonight, we witnessed a classic bout for the WWE title. So before we begin the Royal Rumble match, allow me to formally introduce you to your new WWE champion. Yeah, let's go, dude. And I have even better news for SmackDown. Your fine general manager, Theodore Long, is nearly fully recuperated from his heinous assault earlier this year. And being the consummate professional that he is, he insists on resuming his duties on SmackDown as soon as this week. Did you hear that, Taz? Theodore Long is back. It's about time, Cole. SmackDown's been without a general manager for way too long. All right. <laughs> now remember the man who wins tonight's Royal Rumble will earn a title opportunity at the greatest sports entertainment spectacle of all time, WrestleMania 22. Pressure's on, As guys. The road to WrestleMania begins right here, right now, in this very ring. Now I gotta say, Vince always delivers solid VO performances. Like, it's really good. Like, some people are obviously, like, phoning in. He's not. He's giving it all. You gotta respect that. All right, it's time. Orlando Drum was in the opening match and lost after just looking very strong in SmackDown. It's time for the 30-man rumble. We're coming out. Number 30. So, uh, that means I'll see you in one hour. I suppose put down the controller. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put down the controller on my desk here. And I got no more vitamin water. Who's number one, though? Spike Dudley. Oh, yeah, because he lost. This is what you get for punching the ref, dude. <laughs> you reap what you sow, brother. LSD is here. Oh, my God. Like, you talk about blockhead moments. That has got to be a certified blockhead moment. He knew the repercussions of that match. Uh, unless he was like me and didn't realize DQ was on. That could have been me. Think about it. That could have been me accidentally hitting the ref. And we could have been here right now. 
Funny how the smallest things make all the difference, guys. I mean, Big Show kind of got screwed because he was number 30 and threw no fault of his own. Like, what happened to him then? Did he get my old entry number or what? I guess we're gonna find out. What? He get number? He really got screwed! Oh my god! Rip my man! He did nothing wrong! Oh, he's getting- you're gonna see the cheese though of the weight class difference. He's just gonna punch Spike out immediately probably. Or pick him up and throw him out. Dude, that's some cheese too. You know, I gotta say, um... Big Show early is not a bad thing for us because uh, it might speed up the rumble if he gets lower weight class guys to throw him out faster for us while we're waiting. Yeah! Man, he really got screwed though. I I made out like a bandit in that. Like, how... Okay, here's my question then. If it if he and Spike Dudley lost, how did it determine that I won? Like, I, that makes zero sense because Spike punched the ref. And I didn't do anything. Big Show didn't do anything. So how did I win? I, I really don't understand. It makes zero sense. All right, but here we go. Welcome to the Royal Rumble. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we have plenty of time to talk about things. I don't really have anything prepared. I do want to touch about the actual real life Royal Rumble uh, 2022 this year. Um, so a lot of controversy with that. I figured I'd give my thoughts and uh, I'd love to hear other people's opinions too. But uh, I've, I've seen enough opinions on Twitter. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I would say it was overwhelmingly hated by everyone for various reasons. Uh, let me get my opinion, though. We're gonna see the cheese here. Yep, there it is. Spike's gone. Um, I had zero issue with the fact that... Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen the rumble, like, uh, I guess mute the video for, like, three minutes or something. Uh, I had zero issue with Brock and Ronda being the winners. I, in fact, I thought that was a great choice, despite... I know that's not a popular opinion. A lot of people thought that was stupid, but I had zero issue with that. My issue was the actual rumbles themselves were terrible. Like the actual match, like the meat and potatoes of the match here, like the actual in-ring action was probably one of the worst rumbles I've ever seen. And to me, that goes for both the men and the women's. And, and when we compare those two, the women's was better in my opinion, but it was like one step above. It wasn't good either. Um, I mean, for various reasons, you know, like, uh, well, look at synchronized leg locks. That's in perfect sync. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think the pacing was terrible. I think in the women's, um, the rumble really lost a lot of steam when, uh, Sasha got eliminated. Like, to me in the rumbles, there's always like, there's always like certain people that keep it together. Like, they're the glue that holds it together. Like, like, I will say, I'm not really that much of a Sasha fan, but I always do recognize she's really good in the ring. And to me, she was holding that match together. And when she got kicked out, like, like just, like, nothing, it kind of killed the pacing for me. And, like, I really think, like, the surprise entrance weren't that good either. Like, like they didn't really do anything interesting. Uh, I mean, I don't know. And then, like, the men's, right, the pacing was also terrible. The surprise entrance, there, like, barely was any. And like, just like Sasha getting kicked out killed the momentum. Like when AJ Styles get kicked out, that also kind of killed the momentum for me too. Like, I'm not a fan of when people get kicked out, like big names get kicked out like they're nothing and it's not made a big deal. Like he was thrown out by Mad Cat Moss like nothing. And it was just like, okay, that happened. <laughs> I mean, like to me, like the highlights were like, honestly, Johnny Knoxville, which, you know, yesterday I actually got uh, back from seeing Jackass Forever. Great film, by the way. <laughs> Big fan of those guys, but uh, he was great in the Rumble. He's probably one of the most memorable parts. And he's not even a wrestler, but I mean, like, obviously, like, he's a really good entertainer. He gets it. Threw a really good forearm, too. Uh, but man, like, uh, like, that Rumble was just terrible. And, like, a lot of people were upset with Shane O'Matt coming back and making it to the Final Four. I didn't really have a problem with that, but, uh, you know, of course, like, there's, like, all this news about, like, he's got, like, big heat backstage because he booked the, or he put together the Rumble and, like, Made himself look too good. And like, now he's apparently gone from the company, if that's true. Like, <laughs> man, what is this a wild weekend, dude? Oh my god. Crazy stuff. But yeah, I gotta say, I 
just uh, it was terrible I'm, I'm sorry i always try to stay positive and i always don't like people complaining Man, too much but like i can't really i can't really say it was good i, I can't, just can't i'm sorry <laughs> Which, like, I, from the opinions I saw on Twitter, a lot of people hated the Brock Ronda um, winners. Uh, which, I don't know. To me, I don't see it's a big deal. Like, they're big names, and, like, like you, the argument I usually hear is, oh, big names don't need to win the Rumble because it should always be a lower name guy because as soon as he wins, it elevates him. And you know what? I'm sorry. I don't agree. I don't think that always works. Like, I think some people historically have won, and their momentum has been temporary. It doesn't instantly make you a star, and, like, some and big names winning is what's memorable, right? Because like you know, I never hear anyone complain that Austin won three times, uh, and like you know, like Rocky won, and like people like these big names win, like and sometimes like, like another thing is like, I hear like, oh, they didn't need to win because there's another way that person could have gotten the storyline of the title, which I don't know. I guess that's somewhat fair, but I kind of like the story. Yes, I do agree that Brock winning was very predictable. But it, it was kind of a great story. Like, he got screwed out of the title, um, so he was pissed. He came back and just annihilated people and won the Rumble. So now Roman's, like, all concerned. Like, oh, God, I tried to stop him. I screwed him over. Now I got to pay the price because now he's got a guaranteed shot and there's nothing I can do about it. That's the story, right? I think it's fine. I really do. But people don't agree. They're like, okay, he could have gotten that match another way. Which I, I guess it's fair. I mean, like I always say, like, there's no correct answer here. Like, you're just writing stories. But that's just my thoughts. Um, if anyone wants to read their thoughts, I'd love to read them. But again, just keep it civil in the comments. But, you know. Anyways, I guess back to the rumble here. Uh, I think we're on entry number like 20 or something. Or I guess 10, I mean. 20 left. Uh, or maybe it's 21. But uh, this is actually going a little bit faster than I thought. Usually, like, whenever I watch rumbles in this game, they take way longer. But as we can see here, um, <laughs> after that whole rumble uh, speech here, I haven't really been paying too much attention. But... We can see like the Irish groups that lead to nothing in this. Um, pretty much a cluster. Um, so I really need to get a finisher fast. I might actually be playing a little bit more passive because I really don't want to screw this up. Um, but if I do screw it up, there is. Um, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to say anymore. But there is something will happen if I screw it up. Let's just say that. So, uh, another thing we can do here, another strat, is, um, we could hard Irish whip people ourselves, but not actually try to eliminate them and hope the computer goes over to eliminate them. So, that's another big, uh, high IQ play. Okay, it's actually going pretty decently. Like, I, sometimes I've simulated rumbles that last, like, up to an hour, and it's terrible. Wait, does Chris Masters have the Jericho toe kick? Why? <laughs> That's Jericho's animation. Come on now, you can't do that. I always love when like people have their own like unique animations, like uh, you know, like rock punches, angle has his own stomp. Stacy Keebler has their own stomps and kicks too. <laughs> like it just adds that much more personality to whoever you're playing as. Right, I actually haven't been paying attention. Has Orlando Jordan come out yet or what? Kind of wish I was paying more attention because I like to like you know see who like the MVP is so far. I have no idea. I mean, Big Show's gone. I'm a little uh, relieved. I really hope we get lucky and like it comes down to like me and some cruiserweights just so I can cheese it up. Because um, honestly, I can't remember in this game if you if you do not walk away from the Rumble as the victor. Like, uh, after, after the pay-per-view is over, if you lose, I can't remember if the story it just ends. It might in this game. I just, I really can't remember. So I guess we'll have to make a decision if we fail. We'll probably have to use the time machine if it ends. If it doesn't end, then we won't use it. But if it does, we'll have to. Otherwise, that'd be really disappointing. Okay, 17 left. A lot of clean and dirty grapples. It's Carlito. The man who went like 15 minutes with OJ and SmackDown. <laughs> I still can't believe how lucky I got. Like, Spike Dudley punches the ref and I win for some reason. Like, imagine if that happened in real life, dude. It's absolute goofiness. Like, who wrote that stuff, guys? 
Yes, it's the so, so line grind, yay. I'm also kind of interesting in this game, you can see uh, Conway and uh, Savan Grenier uh, have the lot of resistance to tire, but they actually updated their theme and trance to their solo act. So like you got um, like, you know, model Conway and like the world is Sylvan. Um, <laughs> by the way, the world is Sylvan is such a funny theme. It makes me laugh. His trime is great too, but um, I always thought, again, don't take this as confirmation because I didn't work on these games, but uh, Obviously, it's extremely easy just to update video and audio files. Wow, Sylvan eliminates Rob Conway. Wow. Um, it's extremely easy to update uh, video and audio files compared to making a whole new character model, retexturing them and all that. Um, so that's probably why they did it. But if you want my opinion, I would have just left the old themes and Tron on them. Because like it's just so goofy and mixing and matching. Like... I think like uh, in SVR 07, like Booker T is the King Booker Tron, even though he's still like just regular Booker T. Like it's just, it's it's just so goofy. These superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other. He just didn't have enough left to hang on. All right, big hiding right here. Potentially gave his video tape to Steve Austin for coming out here. By the, by the way, the Heidenreich theme, I guess, it, technically, I guess if you just looked up the lyrics, wouldn't it just say Heidenreich over and over again? <laughs> like, I know on one of the Uncaged albums, I think they, uh, they released the theme, and, like, I have it on my iPod, so, like, it, when I'm in my car and my iPod's plugged in, like, sometimes it just shows up, and it, it just makes me laugh every time, like, which is a weird theme, dude. And he's laying into Carlito, Jesus. Yeah, I gotta say, this rumble's not bad. Not bad at all. I've had rumbles way longer than this, and we only have 13 left and only 10 minutes in. Not bad at all. I've seen way longer rumble simulations. So I guess we got pretty lucky, to be honest with you. Yeah, I guess luck is the theme of this video so far. We got lucky with Spike Dudley <laughs> punching the ref. Are we getting lucky and win the rumble? Guess only time will tell. I remember one time one of like my SmackDown 2 videos, there was like a time where I got number 30 in like season mode and I came out and I think I got thrown out like immediately. It was pretty funny. So I hope that doesn't happen again, but <laughs> you never know. I mean, if Orlando Jordan throws me out, it'll be funny. I'll, I'll admit that because uh, he got the he got the rub from SmackDown. Uh, Carlito and OJ going back at it. All right, now, of course, now that I mentioned the Rumble's not going bad, looks like they're slowing down the action here. Six men in the ring. You hate to see it. You guys, I, I need you to understand one thing. Sylvain Grenier, guys. You know, some people argue, is the world flat? Is the world round? It's neither, okay? The world is Sylvan. <laughs> That's the real answer to that question. He's an animal. Oh. Yeah, sometimes I'm conflicted about the whole uh, commentary system. They'll, um, they'll interrupt what they're saying just to talk about what's happening in the ring. I feel like some people like that, some people don't. I don't really know. I mean, because sometimes I want to hear what they say. Uh, and it just gets interrupted by like, oh, nice reversal. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I was listening to that and it's gone. But they said that last match, so it's all right. All right, big reversal here. Not what you like to see, I must say. Man, I really wish I didn't chug my vitamin water. I'm, I'm still thirsty, man. Silver on the apron. Nobody's going over to help, so he's gonna be safe. Oh, Booker T. Oh, see, the best, the best situation is when um, you want to help them, but you wait till like the last second to help them. Then it like resets the timer, so you can throw them out in one go. That's something I forgot to talk about. That's a good strat. Um, so if I see a computer pushing him over, I'll go over, but I'll wait. Like obviously, I don't know the exact time they stay in that mini game. I kind of just ballpark it. But if you like wait and then grapple, then you can get them out in one go. That's nice when that happens. Alright, Carlito. Going down the action. Can we just contact Yukes to update the AI for this in this game or what? 
Get them to, to open the files and update it. Man, if they would just do more hard Irish whips. I mean, I guess the problem with that would be uh, the cruiserweights wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, they'd have to do regular Irish whips. But I mean, still. I mean, they, they do do the Irish whip, the strong Irish whips every now and again. But not enough to be, you know, good. Oh, here we go. Scissors kick in the middle of the ring. Will he finish the spin rooney though? Yes, he will. Wow. Uninterrupted. Yeah, literally, as soon as I, like, mentioned how the rumble was going good, it slowed down significantly. There we go. Heidenreich cheese. Thank you. Double's gone. All right, here we go. We're cooking now, boys. We're cooking. I got to admit, I was never a huge law resistance fan. Going up the turnbuckle. All right, well, I wanted to hear that dialogue, but all right. Thank you, Carlito. 11 left. Young boy, 11. 11's everywhere. OJ's gone. Wow. Get him out of here. He looked great in SmackDown, though. All right, Doug Basham. Very nice. Damn, big neck breaker. Coming in hot, dude. I must say, in my opinion, they uh they improved the rumble in FBR07. They made the ring up bar way smaller. Uh, I think the AI is way better too. And um the ultimate control moves are actually pretty cool in the rumble because you can actually throw people out if if you have a finisher. In normal matches, you can throw them out like anytime you want. But in the rumble, they were actually smart and they thought about it. Uh you need a finisher to throw them out. And uh there's actually a pretty funny glitch I discovered as a kid. Which, uh, I'm not sure there's any documentation on this on the internet. I never looked it up, but um, if you time it just perfectly, throw someone out with the ultimate control move as someone's running down the ring and you hit them while they're running, they actually like react to it and then they never get in the ring. They disappear as if they're eliminated. It's really cool, dude. I remember as a kid, like I just found it out by just trying it and it worked. It was so good. I definitely want to try to demonstrate that on video. Unless someone has it recorded, I'll have to look it up. I don't know if, like, obviously, I'd have no idea if I was the first person in the world to discover it. Like, how do you even trace something like that? I never recorded it, but... Just something to think about. This one's gonna keep on going until someone can't go anymore. And considering the condition... Speaking of not going, going hiding right... That could be quite a while from now. Yeah, well... Only nine left. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous. Uh... I'm definitely probably not gonna play that aggressive. Unless I get a finisher, then I'll turn up the aggression. That's... that. That's my strat. It's Rene Dupree. All right, come on, get over there, help him, help him, help him. Nice, that was pretty good. Wow, Doug Basham with the finisher. Is he gonna be smart and save it to, as a safety net, or is he gonna be a big doofus and use it? Or is he gonna expire, which would be the worst situation? But yeah, it's fun to look at the Rumble throughout the years in the main SmackDown series because um. In my opinion, it really became really good at SBR 10 and upwards. Uh, then from there, it was just always good. Uh, even like in the newest entries, like 2K19, it's really good. Um, except for the fact that the camera's pointing in a different way. Like I love this camera because I like to see the people run down. And, like in SBR 10, when like people had unique rumble entrances, that was a great idea. Uh, I wish that would still be a thing. It, it's so good. Oh, Carlito's gone. Pretty good performance, though, I must say. Alright, Christian, rip his logos, boys. They are missed. I think I considered modding in the logos for this playthrough, but I decided against it because I wanted the playthrough to be as vanilla as possible to cover the game, but I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind on that. If anyone remembers the SVR beta video I did back in the day, um... Or back in the day, that wasn't really that long ago, was it? <laughs> uh, we saw that Christian's render actually in the beta has the logos. Um, which is really cool. That'd be nice to mod that in as well. Pretty easy to do as well. Big low blow from Christian. True. Hey guys, well, let's just let's just get one thing clear here though. This game's Rumble's garbage, but is it better than the 2022 Rumble? <laughs> That's arguable, but you never know. Oh, come on. Quit showing off. This is supposed to be a wrestling match, not a popularity Hey, Eugene. Oh, Eugene also another person that has a lot of unique animation, which is really cool. And he's coming up on a big payoff. 
Alright, you climb the turnbuckle and then just drop down. Interesting strat, not sure I agree with it. Wow, Rey Mysterio pretty late entry, okay. Pretty good overall, but again, got that cruiserweight disadvantage. So if he stays in there, I'm, that's just easy pickings for me. That's just that's just food right there, my man. Also, the cover star of uh, WWE 2K22, which uh, I guess that's something to talk about as well while we're waiting. Uh, actually, pretty excited. They recently showed some actual gameplay, and they talked about a combo system, which got me very, which has me very, very excited. <laughs> you know, I, it's funny. If you watch my playthroughs, I always talk about trying to do combos in these games. And um, even though you can link together certain moves to like make things that look like combos, they're not real combos because they can be interrupted at any point. So they're not actually real combos. So if there's a real combo system in 2K22, like they're saying, I'm going to be excited because I'm a big fighting game fan. I'm sure some people might not like it because they just want like wrestling, uh, which, you know, it's in there too. But if they don't like those combo and stun meter aspects, they're probably uh, going to complain about it. But uh, I really hated how there were some people complaining about Rey Mysterio being on the cover of 2K22. Like, are you serious? Like, he's a legend. The showcase centers around him. Uh, great. He's, like, got one of the most iconic looks of all time. Like, he's a great choice for a cover star. Like, come on now. Some of the things I was reading online were just ridiculous, man. And by the way, I think Sean's actually a light heavyweight in this game. So he could be a victim of the... Uh, Elimination cheese if a super heavyweight comes out because the rule is um for two weight classes above somebody You can instantly punch him out or pick him up and throw him out Here we go Eugene with his animations there we go <laughs> Okay, actually a not bad scenario would be if there's six people in the ring. We're still waiting for me to come out. And then everyone like stays in for a while, does damage to each other. So they're already really hurt. And then I just come in and throw them all out. Like if they're all red. I doubt that's going to happen, but it's possible. Oh, right at the top. Right at the top. By God. I actually really want Ray to stay in because that's just easy elimination. But uh, I'm going to avoid the corners. I'm going <laughs> to use my dirty moves. There's an exposed turnbuckle I could utilize too. But again, I'm going to avoid the corner. Dupree's pretty hurt. I'm just scouting out the damage here. Everyone else is pretty good. Just a few yellows in there. A few banana boys. Okay, Ginger X on the ropes. Will anyone help him? Or help Christian? Nope. Also, you can interrupt... Um, I believe in this game you can interrupt uh, the pushing out minigame. So if you're playing with human players, you could uh, form alliances potentially. Oh, sweet chain music! Guising him up. Ah, God! Sean dancing in the other corner. Right, so that was actually a low IQ play from Sean because... Uh, <laughs> now he doesn't have that safety net to throw someone out, but... That's fine with me. Oh, Ray's gonna be done. Oh, he got saved! He got saved big time. Speaking of WrestleMania 22, the big time song. <laughs> Great theme song, by the way. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. Dupree's gone. Sean's gone. All right. How many people are left? Ray's still in there, man. I might only have like a minute of screen time, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm fine with that. Three left, okay. Eugene winding it up. Okay, there's three left, so two people come in, they'll fill the ring, and then they'll still be waiting for me, which is not bad. Oh, God. Which is not bad if they damage each other, but I don't really see that happening. Oh, Jack's done. He's done. Oh, Eugene walks away. Okay, he's still done. <laughs> All right, well, I'm getting ready. Warming up my hands. I'm getting ready. I'm actually really nervous. I'm not going to lie. It's because we waited all this long and I really don't want to fail. All right, Eddie Guerrero. Very nice. I think also a light heavyweight. Eddie and Ray going at it. <laughs> okay, Eugene. With the animations, my man. What? <laughs> a rematch? Okay, next year. Yeah, sure. Okay, two left. Man, this match is so good. Pretty good talent in the ring right now. Oh, what? Uh, excuse me, what? Okay, well, here I am. Uh, okay, so... 
I'm not even gonna go over and help, which is pretty controversial, I'd say, but. This is completely off the hook, okay, okay. We I'm nervous. I'm spamming toe kicks. You can see. But this is even better than I'd hoped. Okay, not good. Not good. If I get on the apron once, I'm done. I thought it said two left, but uh. Okay. Strong Irish whip. Yeah, I'm playing like terrible. The nerves are actually getting to me. Okay. What? Okay, I have clean moves instead of dirty. Okay, this actually makes this a little bit easier. Here's what I'm gonna do. Right? Ready? Why am I? I turn face apparently. No, I have the my least favorite animation in the game. I hate the animation. Okay, he's a victim of the cheese. You hate to see it, but it is what it is, boys. Okay. Now we don't want to accidentally jump out of the rumble because that is possible. Christian, why? Yeah, boo this man, dude. For real. <laughs> For real. <laughs> okay. Oh my, I just realized it's Ben in the ring. Didn't he eliminate me from the rumble last time in the last playthrough as Eddie? Oh my god. I, d I just put that together. Okay. okay. I didn't cheat to win the gold medal. It's not true. It's not true. Okay. I, I really like I'm playing like terrible. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's just do Okay, what are the clean moves I have? That's okay. My move set still has dirty moves, so this is a conflict of interest. Okay, Eugene Chant. Okay, nice, nice Paul Burchill. Okay, another strategy is where they get their, uh, their ring out meters both low and then I swoop in. That's possible. Okay, I'm in the danger zone. Big reversal. Auto-targeting, why? Man, there's not an ounce of quit okay. in these superstars. Ultimate opportunist, guys. I studied a lot of edge tapes for what for playing this. Taunting near the ropes, big, big risk there. Okay. I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better. Safety net acquired. Let's turn up the aggression a little bit. Turn up the aggression just a little bit. Now I should have been paying attention to their ring out meters. I'm not sure what they are. I have no trouble believing that whatsoever. You gonna do something? Uh, okay. Um. No. Okay. You see what I was gonna do there? What I was gonna do is um. <laughs> I was gonna interrupt that and then have Christian work on Benoit to uh, damage him. That was gonna be my strat. Now, what do I do here? Do I go for the red body damage or do I just try to throw him out? Oh God! George gave the pair neck, brother. It's the battle of necks right now. Right. I don't, I don't care that I'm clean. Crowd chanting angle sucks. Okay, that was a sacrifice. A little bit of momentum. I'm gonna go for the red strap, boys. Little, little unorthodox, I'd say, but I'm gonna go for it. Because I don't want to get caught in the uh, the double elimination where I lose my finisher. So we're gonna go for a. Uh, I'm not gonna use the finisher until I have two in the bank here. And then we're gonna try to get him red. Strong Irish whip. That's the strat. I can't believe it's Benoit again. Like you can't write this stuff. Right, just just walked away from that high IQ play. Okay, I'm trying to find like my. Uh, I need to do like more Germans and stuff. I think Crouch Channing 619. Okay, submission grapple not exactly a good strat. Okay, this is just a reversal fest here. Man's obviously got a high technique stat. Oh no, okay, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I mean, the good thing about facing the wrong way as him is uh, he won't Irish whip me most of the time, so. That was an aggressive. Oh, I'm in the danger zone. I got to reverse here. Wow, I got so, I got so lucky there. I got so lucky there. I thought if you have a finisher, you instantly recover from being on the apron, but I didn't there. That was weird. They sure have. 
I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. I'm actually, I'm actually nervous. Like this is no joke. <laughs> I could use an angle slam here, which might get him red, but then I lose my finisher in the bank. I'm not going to do it. I, I, it's probably it's probably safe, but I'm playing it ultra safe here. This is Benoit we're talking about. He reverses a lot. Oh, God. I could just throw him on the apron and start punching him, but the thing is, if he reverses that, um, he has a chance to throw me over as well. Oh, no. Yeah, I need to reverse here big time. I need to get this man red. I'm back! Wait, Benoit has this on his moveset? Why? Three elbows? Okay. Yeah, I still haven't done a German, dude. I'm upset about it. No, okay, I... Please. He recovers so fast. Running German? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm playing like a goofball right now. <laughs> Yes, finally. Come on. He's still not red. I'm trying to find my belly to belly uh, move. I can't remember which grapple category it's under. <laughs> okay, I have a running one. I'm getting a little cocky. I'm getting a little cocky. Angle slam! <laughs> Angle slam! Okay, I'm getting cocky now. This is, this is gonna cost me if I don't be careful here. No, he reversed no. I got just throw him out. It's, I just gotta do one average script. That's all I have to do to win. No! <laughs> Please, not again. I'm having flashbacks. Oh, ribs. Get up. Get up. I got the ribs. He's got the ribs. I have to reverse. Oh, he didn't have a whip. Okay, why? Oh, God. Why did I do that taunt? I made a big mistake. Okay, the ribs are paying dividends right now, but I got to get out of this corner here. Get out! Yes! All right, now steal his taunt. Oh, okay. I was trying to steal his taunt, but it didn't let me for some reason. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. <laughs> I got my angle slam off. I was playing super passive there, but I really didn't want to lose, which, um, I guess now spoilers. Wait, hold on a second. Here is your winner of the 2006 Royal Rumble. He outlasted 29 other superstars. Oh, it's true. By doing so, he's going to get a title shot at WrestleMania 22. What a night for him. What a night for SmackDown. We got a new WWE champion and a new number one contender. I'll tell you, Cole, I love the Royal Rumble. You know what? So do I. One of the best matches of all time. All right, now, spoilers. When I was talking about there's another way out of this if I lose. So I guess I'll just spoil it now that we've uh, watched. This will be covered in the bonus content, but if you actually lose the Rumble, Vince comes out and there's a cutscene of the person. He like confronts the person that won saying, oh, you almost got away with it. We saw you switch your Rumble entry number. This match is going to be restarted with the last six people. And I think it always puts you in there. So you basically get a second chance to win. Um, so if Benoit would have thrown me out, we would have had another chance. Um, but there you go. That will be covered in the bonus stuff. But um, Or if the Raw playthrough, I guess, if it happens. But there you go. Kurt Angle has secured his spot at WrestleMania 22. We're going big time, boys. And guess what? Royal Rumble trophy acquired. All right, we unlocked the locker room jersey collection and 10,000 bucks. Not bad. All right, so there you go. That was the Royal Rumble. It's good to be back, guys. See you in the next episode.